Hey everyone, welcome back. So in this Jenkins tutorial, let's quickly go ahead and see how we can install Jenkins and set it up on our computer. Now usually you won't be doing this Jenkins setup on your computer or the work computer where you are developing your automation scripts. So there will be a dedicated sort of a, a Jenkins server and DevOps people in the project will be taking care of that installation and providing you the details of the Jenkins server. What your job would be to set up the jobs or the processes that you need within Jenkins to do the continuous testing or launch the test cases automatically as soon as there is code check-in and run those test cases on the latest build that has been built and deployed. So that will be the whole process. But because in this series you will be anyways sort of to learn you have to set up Jenkins. So I'll explain how you can set up Jenkins on your local computer and after setting up what sort of interface you will get and from there on you can set up the jobs. So we'll understand how you can set up the jobs to launch the test cases through Jenkins. Okay. So Jenkins, as I have explained, it's continuous integration, continuous delivery. So I have covered continuous integration in the last tutorial and Jenkins with using Jenkins, you can do the continuous delivery as well. So CI CD pipelines, basically you can do so many things with Jenkins, right? So the deployment from a different environments, from test to pre prod to production, all of that can be you know automated using Jenkins so there is a lot of capabilities but we won't be going into that much detail because that is more of a DevOps sort of a course which I'll most probably prepare some time later okay so it is easy installation easy configuration so a lot of things so let's quickly go ahead rather than reading all of this here let's quickly go ahead and see how you can set up it on your machine so that you can start learning Jenkins so go to download and what we'll do is, so there are a lot of packages available. So th there is a generic Java package, which will basically be going ahead with and pick up the stable version always. So there, there are other regular releases that happen, but that might not be stable. So pick up the stable, late, the long term support stable version. And I will pick this war file because the installation or basically setting up the Jenkins, if you're using the war file will be same for Windows, Mac or other computers, right? So simply download it so it's like 68.9 mb file so it will take some time so once the download is finished you'll see that jenkins.war file in wherever you have downloaded it okay so now in order to set up jenkins you simply go to this particular location where you have this war file we'll open command prompt right and we'll run the command to start right so we'll simply go to the documentation so we'll say installing jenkins all right so the war file right we are setting up the war file so go to the war file you will see the prerequisites there okay and in terms of software requirements you will see the java requirements that's what java needs to be there on your computer so we'll see that the jre 8 and 11 are the only ones that are supported so 12 13 14 15 16 are not supported and i have java 14 on my machine so this is not going to work on my machine until I downgrade it to Java 8 or 11. So I'll do that quickly. But in order to set it up, first thing you have to see the requirement. So Java 8 and 11, right? And there is nothing like Java 7 and 9 and 10 are not supported. So only 8 and 11 are sort of supported. So you have to just check what Java version you have, what Java installed. And if it is not 8 or 11, you have to basically install 8 or 11 before you can proceed. Now, the next step is basically once you have these prerequisites to set up this war file, what we have to do is we have to go back and you will see that we just have to run this command java hyphen jar jenkins dot war. Okay, so we just have to say java minus jar and then jenkins dot war. Okay, so by default Jenkins starts on port 8080. If you go to the documentation here, you will see that it starts at port 8080. But in case your machine on your machine, this port 8080 is being utilized by some other process or application, then you can specify the HTTP port. So hyphen hyphen HTTP port and specified by the, the port on which you want to run the Jenkins server. Okay, so you can say something like that HTTP or and then I can specify 1990 in this particular case and the server will start on the 1990. So if I'll run, it will give me error because you know, only eight and 11 are supported. So let me quickly install Java eight. 
or Java 11 and then I'll run the server and we'll continue with the Jenkins configuration. I'll pause the video. So let's go ahead and search JDK 11 download and I know that my machine is 64 bit operating system. So I'll go to this Java archive downloads from Oracle and here if you'll scroll down you will see that Windows 64 uh, installer simply download this accept and so you need to have an account here so if you do not have the account create an account and then download this particular exe file okay so it's an exe right so we'll simply download it and then execute it so let me create an account and then we'll continue so once you have created and verified your account and downloaded the file you will be having this JDK 11 right and just double click on it to install now this i've already covered how to install java previously but i'll anyways cover as part of this video as well so simply click on yes it's a pretty simple process that we have to follow Hit next and then development tools just keep it default it will be installed to program files java if you want to change it you can change it so it's jdk that's the folder i'll keep it default and this is only in case you do not have the compatible version of java on your machine that needs to be there for jenkins server to run if you have java 11 already so you can check java hyphen version and if you already have the compatible version 8 or 11 you do not need to perform this java installation stuff so this has been installed successfully and then we can simply close it okay so let's quickly go ahead we'll say java hyphen version i am pretty sure it will still be 14 because the java home is still pointing to this version 14 right so how we can go ahead and change the java version okay so we'll simply go to the right click or just go to settings so we'll simply go to search for pc right click properties go to advanced system settings environment variable and you'll see java home is currently pointing to jdk 14 right and we want to use java jdk 11 okay so where is my jdk 11 installed it was installed in program files java and then there was a folder so let's see let's browse the directory from here so it was in c program files it was um, java and 11 right so that's what we have to basically set our home java home directory to okay so select jdk 11 so even though both versions are there this is what now Jenkins will be referring to okay so I'll just hit OK and click OK and OK. Now close this. Let me close the command prompt and open command prompt again. Okay, so in the downloads, we have this Jenkins.war as well. So I'll open command prompt from, from here. And now let's see Java hyphen version. What's the version? Okay, so it's still it's showing 14. Oh, okay. I got the issue. Sorry. So let me go to the properties again. We changed the Java home, but we didn't put it in the path variable. That's strange right so we we change this java home but we have to set up the path variable right so we have to put the let's see if i have something like the direct jdk okay so you will see that it is the java home is already there but in the path it is still pointing to this 14 right so i have to remove this okay so what i'll do is i'll delete this and let's first add so what i'll do is i'll add the so we know that there is a java home variable right and then I need to refer the bin within Java home. Okay, because here you'll see that we are referring to JDK 14 bin. So now I can delete this so that it can refer to the 11. Okay, so let me delete this one. Okay, now it should close the command prompt, reopen and that's strange okay so let's go ahead and check again there's something that looks like has been set up previously so in the path variables and that is basically that is referring to so we'll go to path again because we have fixed this java home and then in the path as well we have set this java home so yeah this is the one right so this is something which has been set up if you see that c program files oracle java java path and if if I copy this so bear with me guys I'm sure that this is going to help you to debug any of these sort of issues yeah you'll see that in this particular folder this is when the previous installation happened java.exe has been placed here and this is this usual you know installation so if there are multiple versions then we have to remove the reference of the old right so you, to remove the reference the only ways to remove the path variable so that the old reference is not referred anymore 
So this is still the Java 14 path. So I'll remove that. Okay. Now there is no reference at all for so Java home is referring to 11 and Java home bin will be for the binaries of the version 11 of Java. So now it should be fine. Hopefully let's close the and we'll go to downloads again and open the command prompt. Right, you'll see that now it is 11. Java version is 11. Okay, so now we will start our Jenkins server. So this setup till now has been basically to fix our Java version because only 11, 8 and 11 are being supported. So we'll simply say Java minus jar and then we'll start the Jenkins server and I will start it in on the port 9090. Okay, so you can just start it on 8080 as well, but uh, I will start on 9090 and you will see that it started, it is running and for the first time it might take some time. So please be patient, let the server start. Okay, so once this has completed, right, so Jenkins initial setup is required, which is very important and an admin user has been created and password is generated. So admin user is created and this is the password. So please use the following password to proceed with the installation. So copy this, right, and you will see that it, it this password is found in this particular C users Jenkins secrets, right, so initial password. So we'll go to this particular folder in the downloads and it is in the users right so we'll say see users then it is dot jenkins and then it is in the secrets and secrets initial admin password right so this is the location so we'll go to this secrets and you'll see this is the file here okay so we'll simply and we can copy this password okay so the jenkins server let's see where what the message is so you'll see jenkins is fully up and running okay so now let's go to the documentation and see how we can access so we can access using this local host 8080 so we'll see Simply access it on 9090 because I have started the server on port 9090 localhost port 9090 and during the initial setup it will ask for the password that has been generated so administrator password is present here that's what we have already seen so we'll copy this password and continue with the setup so customize Jenkins so you can select the plugins to install or you can install all the suggested plugin I'll go with the simple way install suggested plugins and it will install all the suggested or the default plugins that are basically suggested by Jenkins so it takes some time so once it is finished then we'll proceed okay so once the plugins are basically installed and set up you will be redirected to this particular page where it will ask to create the first admin user if you want you can create but I'll uh, skip and continue as admin right so you don't need to create for learning so we'll just skip and continue as admin and then this is the URL right we'll just keep it as is and we'll simply say save and finish okay so the Jenkins setup is now complete and we can start using Jenkins so click on start using Jenkins and this is how your setup will look like and this is the home page of the Jenkins after all the configuration setup has been done okay so you will see that now we can start building our software project project and set up the distributed build so we'll we'll continue from here so this is the basic part of the setup and in case you don't have the compatible Java version I have already covered that as well as part of this tutorial so you shouldn't be having any problem in setting up Jenkins and coming up to this particular point where we are on the Jenkins dashboard so that's all for this tutorial in the next one we'll start understanding how we can start creating or using Jenkins for our test automation script so I hope this was helpful thank you very much for watching